The Minneapolis community continues to mourn and make its collective voice heard in the aftermath of the killing of 20-year-old Dante Wright by a police officer during a traffic stop on Sunday. The Timberwolves believed postponing Monday's scheduled game against Brooklyn was the best decision, which has led us to today's makeup game at Target Center. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Brooklyn Nets pregame show presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. I'm Nancy Newman. It was around this time yesterday when reports of Monday's postponement began to circulate, and this morning, the NBA made today's matchup official. So right now, the Nets and Timberwolves are getting ready for action. In its statement yesterday, the NBA said that it made the decision to postpone the game after consultation with the Timberwolves along with local and state officials. Doing so in light of the tragic events that took place in Minneapolis, on Sunday. Shortly before 11 o'clock this morning, the league announced that the game would be made up this afternoon at 3 p.m. Central Time, 4 o'clock in the Eastern Time Zone, after consulting with those same parties. In a follow up, the Timberwolves said that the game will be played without fans in attendance. And for all the very latest now, our Michael Grady joins us. Michael, great to see you. Can you take us through the timeline following yesterday's heartbreaking news, then the postponement last night, and now here we are today yeah you know it's uh, unfortunate uh, you touched on it you know mourning you know is the right word and, and dealing with frustration and disappointment with everything that's going on sadness following uh, Dante Wright being killed by a police officer on Sunday so a uh, number of sports outlets and and franchises and and leagues decided you know out there in Minnesota okay we're not gonna play this game whether it be the twins the wild and then of course later on the decision to not play the Timberwolves Nets game and then there was question marks okay when is the game going to be played could the game be played Tuesday A little bit earlier today that that was actually going to be the case so that's the logistics from a game standpoint but from a humanistic standpoint there are players in locker rooms for both teams who were troubled by this situation there's deja vu not just from the George Floyd situation but centuries of dealing with this type of thing and the stories that they've heard from family members and ancestors etc 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 and so guys are considering whether or not they want to actually go out there and compete and play in a game knowing what's going on around them and what's going on in that many community that's something that both coaches highlighted in their comments before today's game more tragedy uh, more senseless tragedy um, you know just heart heartbreaking to heartbreaking for everyone I think I hope to be in a in, in a civilization that behaves this way uh, I can't imagine what it's like to be African-American, to be an African-American parent. You know, it's, um, it's unacceptable, you know, it's, and it's uh, devastating to, to, to put yourself in their shoes and it's devastating just to be a part of it. We're all a part of this community, civilization, culture, and you know, it's, it's the same thing over and over again and, and people are, are losing their lives for no reason and it's been happening for hundreds of years and we're still here in 2021 so it's um it's a tough time it's a it's a tough time for basketball to be at the forefront and uh but at the same time we have to move forward and and you know take care of our responsibilities in, in, in amidst you know such a devastating situation and their mood is extremely solemn and serious uh as you would expect um and uh you know they showed up today obviously ready to go to work with heavy hearts and lots on their mind as far as trying to get them to coach them i think today we just you know we got to try to just stick to the fun parts of the game and and uh, hopefully that emotion pulls them through the sad reality is that we just keep moving forward you know and I mean, all of us are programmed to keep moving forward and it keeps happening. And so what, you know, that's that's worrisome in, in a sense. Uh, we all want to play. We all want to do our job. We all love what we do. But it, it is worrisome that life just keeps moving forward, but nothing really changes. Uh, so we, you know, it, it's, it's, um, just a lot of conflict internally, I think, for everybody. 